in Cincinnati tonight. This comes as Trump's running mate, Mike Pence, just spoke and for the first time addressed the growing number of women who are accusing Trump of sexual assault. As the media spends so much time on unsubstantiated allegations against my running mate, allegations that he has categorically denied, they deny the hard evidence or any coverage of the hard evidence of, of nothing less than the corruption and the deceit of the Clintons and the Clinton machine. And tonight, despite the damning claims against Trump, his supporters are not giving up on their nominee. Ed Lavendera went to talk to them out front. The Trump faithful are standing by their man. Well, I'd rather have a, a guy in there who likes, likes women than uh, a, a cheat and a liar and a thief and a, 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 you're going to rob the country. Well, I think the media all of a sudden obsessed with all these issues about women. They didn't care about anything when Clinton was uh, assaulting women and he was, he was uh, assaulted to a point that it went to court and Hillary was covering up for him and intimidating these women. I, I in the last day, at least four women have come forward claiming Donald Trump grope them or kiss them against their will. But at this Trump campaign rally in West Palm Beach, Florida, his supporters question the motivations of the women making the accusations. If you, somebody touch me in the wrong way, I, Rosa Castillo, will stand up for my right, speak and say what I have to say in the meaning that happened. I will not wait 20 years when the man is running for president and use that against that man. Why you did not report it back in the day? Why? Because you've been paid now? The corruption pay you good money for you come out now and say this? And so now we address the slander and libels that was just last night thrown at me by the Clinton machine. Trump is in full attack mode, whether it's his opponent, the media, or his accusers. These people are horrible people. They're horrible, horrible liars. And interestingly, it happens to appear 26 days before our very important election. Isn't that amazing? Trump accused the Hillary Clinton campaign of pushing the stories of sexual misconduct. These vicious claims about me of inappropriate conduct with women are totally and absolutely false. And the Clintons know it, and they know it very well. These claims are all fabricated. They're pure fiction and they're outright lies. <laughs> Fact or fiction, these supporters don't care about the allegations against Trump. They want to focus on the Clintons. Get rid of her. She's garbage. She's a cheat. She's a liar. And Aaron, Donald Trump also said today in Florida that they have substantial evidence to prove that these accusers are lying and that that information would be released uh, at the appropriate time. That wasn't done today, but all of the people that we spoke with at the rally here today in Florida standing by Donald Trump unfazed by these latest accusations. Aaron. All right, Eddie, thank you very much. Uh, out front now, our panel, Scotty Nell Hughes, a Donald Trump supporter, Lisa Bloom, the attorney for Jill Hart, who filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Donald Trump, Abby Phillip, a reporter with the Washington Post, and Mark Preston, the executive editor for CNN Politics. I just want to start here uh, with the breaking news. I, I, I don't know if you all have had a chance because it literally just is crossing into my email right now. Melania Trump has just come out with a statement, a demand for a retraction and an apology specifically related to the People magazine reporter She's the one who told the story of how she was interviewing Trump and Melania together. Melania left, uh, and then Donald Trump uh, accosted her within seconds, said they would have had an affair, uh, stuck his, his uh, tongue down her throat, later um, was, was in a massage room uh, waiting for her when she came in there. That's part of her account. It ends with uh, her saying that she bumped into Melania on Fifth Avenue. And this statement says um, that that is not true. It says at the time in question, Mrs. Trump would not even have recognized Ms. Stoinoff, that's the People magazine reporter, if they had encountered one another on the, on the street, and saying your publication of these false statements is actionable and gives rise to claims of damages. Uh, so they are taking issue. 
uh, Mark Preston with three things, uh, saying the reporter never bumped into Melania Trump outside Trump Tower after the incident happened, uh, that the little exchange that was reported in the magazine between Melania and this reporter, uh, where she sort of gave the little baby baron a squeeze on the foot, never happened. Uh, but what I find fascinating, Mark Preston, is it doesn't dispute any of the actual events uh, that were sexual assault. Well, because how can Melania Trump say that uh, they occurred or didn't occur when she wasn't there? I mean, look at, the, here's the problem right now for Donald Trump. This is the second time we've seen his wife have to put a statement out uh, in less than a week uh, defending uh, her husband against charges of, of uh, in this case, sexual misconduct on f Saturday uh, afternoon on, uh, on the basis that he was a good man and that he didn't mean anything by the comments that we heard on that Access Hollywood tape. When we see Donald Trump out there on the campaign trail having to open up all of his rallies trying to defend himself from multiple allegations, it just shows you that his whole campaign right now is an absolute tailspin. I don't know how he's going to convince people that A, he didn't do it, and B, that he has the fortitude to be the President of the United States in these final 26 days. It's very, very difficult. I mean, Scotty, what is your response to this? Because Melania Trump here is, 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 is questioning one aspect of this story that she personally would have knowledge of. She doesn't question the sexual assault itself in this particular letter. And this is not a statement saying, I support my husband or I stand by my husband. It is, it is not anything even remotely close to that. Well, um, I think Mark's correct. She only addressed the issues that concerned her. Her previous statement this week did say that she believes all these allegations are false and that she is standing by her husband. And the words that were said were not the man that she had been able to do. So this was talking just about following up on once again talking, talking about, about the, the tapes. tapes. Once again, right, but nothing uh, about is, any of these allegations, the specific women that have come forward. Nothing because about she that. already, it, because she already addressed it. Listen, this is going to happen every day. You might as well go on and file 26 more names. Probably that's going to happen. The Clinton campaign and their minions in the media are going to continue to pour out because they don't want to discuss once again the issues. We're talking about hearsay. There is no hard proof proving that any of these women allegations are true. This is complete mudslinging. And maybe if there was an ounce of truth to any of them, it looks a little bit bad when you're doing this 26 days before the allegations. You should have done this if you really were concerned about your safety and what had happened to you and about future victims not being assaulted. Okay. You should have done this within time of it actually happening, not uh, when it looks now, like it's just clear, a political To be stunt. clear, I just want to say that many of these women, the, the one I know, saw the tape of Trump saying the thing about the Tic Tacs and it was so jarring for her because it happened to her, that's why she spoke. Some of these other women are coming forward because when Anderson Cooper asked Donald Trump if he ever did the things that he talked about in the tape, he categorically said no. So they came out, they say, because he lied directly in the debate. Lisa Bloom, how many women are calling you? We've talked about uh, 10 women in some capacity who have come forward. Are you getting a lot of other calls? Uh, yes, I am. And by the way, my client, Jill Harth, did come out around the time that it happened to her, she says, back in 1997. Right, so perhaps then. her yeah. claim, at least, could be taken seriously. Uh, yes, I am getting calls from a lot of women who are absolutely terrified. I've spent hours and hours every day over the last week talking to women who are terrified because Donald Trump is out there threatening to sue people and slamming them publicly, and they know what they're in for. And frankly, I have to advise them of the good and the bad. Yes, it's terrifying to come out publicly when you're just an ordinary person in a situation like this. It can also be very empowering to walk through the fire and to tell your truth. But it's not something that most people can do, even with a big mouth lawyer like me by their side. Uh, this is something that's really very scary for a lot of people. So, Abby, how worried is Trump about this? Okay, he's slamming and saying it's categorically untrue. These women are all saying he's liars. There is, of course, an irony in him saying uh, Bill Clinton's accusers should be heard, uh, but, but these women shouldn't be. Putting that aside... It, how worried is the campaign about this right now? Just the fact that he had a speech scheduled today for 12 o'clock in which it, the entirety of it was devoted to this issue. Mm -hmm. It's a clear sign that they're, worried may not be the right word, but infuriated is one way. Yeah. And consumed by it. I mean, this is consuming his campaign. And that, in essence, is actually the problem. I mean, D Donald Trump needs to shut this down. Uh, he can't control whether women come forward or not, say something but he quick. has to shut it down. But he's not going to because it is personally galling to him. He wants to fight back, and that instinct is what is going to cause this to continue and continue. The cycle to the continue. Si it's a cycle. Yeah. Mark? You know, just very quickly, you know, to what Scotty said, I, I think it's important to say we haven't seen Melania Trump out there defending her husband since all of these right. uh, allegations, these physical uh, allegations, altercations have taken place. She did come out with a statement after the tape was put out saying that she was re repudiated by what he said, but we haven't heard her 
based upon all these allegations from multiple women. I think that's an important point. But can, I, can I ask a question to this, Mark, though? What could she say? You look at other people, and including Mr. Trump, who's come out, and every single thing he has said from his word, from his tone, other people are part of his organization, and they are ripped to shreds. Never have I heard somebody give them a compliment or said, you know, that's good that they were honest, or even in his apologies, everything's ripped. So what could Melania say in her last time that she came out and spoke? She was completely ripped to shreds. What could well, she say you know that would make that the liberal... Of, it was it was plagiarism in the Melania speech. Melania Trump. I mean, Melania Trump shouldn't be responsible for Donald Trump's actions right. any more than Hillary Fair. Clinton should be responsible for Bill Clinton's she, actions. She hasn't come Whatever out happened to the conservative idea of personal accountability? All right. Well, well that's, it's also called honesty and truth. And this is Pandora's box because right now what we're well, saying is women can come out and throw these things against anybody, even against the people within our own companies right now because there's no Yeah, but most of them have corroborating witnesses from 10, 20 years ago. So were they all plotting 20 years ago that they told a friend because they knew that in 2015, 2016, Donald Trump was going to run for president? And then you know, this they, would be a very long-term conspiracy. Nothing was ever conspiracy. documented. It's not documented. In fact, as many people of these women that what, are saying that they're mean? right, you okay. have people. Do you ever hear of the concept of a witness? You know, at a not. trial, a witness's testimony is evidence. What do you want? Then why Videotapes? Did I mean, that's not how the real world works. There were there then were witnesses. There were witnesses in these cases, of course. But and the reason women don't come out for up. sexual assault, as we all know, is is very complicated. Uh, I hit pause. All of you staying with me. Next, we're standing by for Donald Trump, about to speak live in Cincinnati as Ivanka Trump is back on the trail today. Our Dana Bash tried to catch up with her.